Hey, Jameson. Can you hear me? You don't have to, like, turn it up super loud, do you? Or should I, like, turn this thing up? Hello, guys. Hang on a sec. What? Get my phone charger plugged in. <laughs> How is this? A little bit more? A little bit more. <sighs> How's this? Okay, cool. Hello, guys. I have sunlight in my face. Holy crap. Let me. Hi. So, um, there's already nine people here. Cool. Um, today I'm going to do this a little bit differently because it's really difficult for me to, like, usually when I do these, um, live streams where I tattoo and stuff, I move the camera back and forth and actually it's, it's really like, it takes a lot of time to do that. <laughs> and I, I like you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, but at the same time, I got to get this done. I've got like three litters out there that really, really need tattooed. And I've just been like procrastinating like crazy. So instead of moving the camera all over the place, I'm just going to keep you guys right here. And we are going to, uh, I'm going to be kind of looking at them. But, um, and if I have something I want you guys to see, I'll let you look at it. But for the most part, I think I'm going to keep this one kind of simple and kind of keep the camera right there and uh, just kind of do this and we'll just have a little chat as I'm getting things done. So I did get, I gotta show you this. I'm gonna take the cap off of this and everything. Um, but I got purple ink because I really wanted to try it out. I thought that would be kind of fun to uh, try. So yeah, we shall see. We'll see if it if it uh, works well. I've never used any colored ink other than blue and black. Usually, I always use black. I just I saw the purple and I just really wanted to really want to see it. So. But yeah, never opened this before. I got new needles, which by the way, if you order new needles from All Things Bunnies, this is what the uh, they ship in, they ship in these little bottles, which is really nice. And I really should probably think of another use for these bottles other than just throwing them away. So if you have any suggestions for me, I don't know. I don't know what to use them for. I feel like it's a waste to just throw them away, but and I definitely need to change my needle and we might have to I might have to scoot over just a little bit because there's so much wind or not wind, there's so much sun out. Uh, and it goes down right here, obviously. So, yeah, we're going to have to deal with it. Hello, guys. I'm a little bit concerned I'm not going to get a video out this week because, like I said, I've got, like, three different litters to tattoo. Uh, I need to register for Minicon tonight because very much procrastinating on registering for that. That is this weekend. Um, and that should be a lot of fun. So is this cut weird? Hang on a minute. What's wrong with this needle? Is that right? Oops. Sorry guys, I guess I should have changed my needle before I started doing this. Bizarre. I don't know if that's supposed to look like that. Yeah, a different one. You got creams today, Logan. That is amazing. I am so excited. I love, I feel like there's there's an uprising in, in like creme de Argent. I think that's so fun. Yeah, this this uh this needle's weird. Hang on. Let me get into this one and see if this one's any different. Yeah, this one's yeah, this one fits. But, uh, there's something wrong with this one. 
Um, I don't know. I will look at it later. There, that is not normal. I can't. There's like a metal piece sticking in the bottom of that one, and I cannot put it in my uh, tattoo pen. Uh, but anyway, I saw somebody say market for a tattoo. They're in the market for a tattoo pen. And they want to know what the best kind is. I always say to go with the TV tat from All Things Bunnies because they're shipping. You can't beat it. They will get it to you within the week. And uh, customer service is the bomb. And um, they have like all the replacement stuff there. So it's like you don't really have to search it out. It's all there. So I don't have any alcohol in here for the rabbits. I'll be right back, guys. Hopefully this is enough, actually. Oh, we are going to have to move. Let me move just a little bit over here. See my dog, Aria. <laughs> She's just chilling in here. Is any better? The sun in my face. Um, Jameson is modding, so no worries. Um, Kayla, it sounds like you have a dough that is being moody. <laughs> Some does are just like that. Well, um, I don't know. It's really odd. I would just keep trying. Yeah, they would be good for beads, sewing needles. She's talking about the tubes here. Uh, Elizabeth is. That's a good idea, actually. I don't know. Okay, well, and like I said, guys, I'm going to try to do more of the chat today, but if I do miss you, please don't be offended. It is hard to kind of keep up with everybody sometimes, so don't be offended. I'm not intentionally ignoring you unless you're being a spam bot, which <laughs> sometimes I get those, so I apologize in advance for that, but but I try not to um, intentionally ignore anybody. So anyway, maybe it's bad boy back on there. Um, do I have ever have to, <laughs> I just saw, do I ever have to deal with aggressive does? Yes, I do. Actually, we just called one um, and her name was Cassia and she's actually been in a lot of my videos in the past. She was just to the point where I, I was just tired of getting bit. And so, um, yes, I named her. Yes, I loved her. She had many babies for me, but we did end up calling her because I was, I was tired of getting bit and I don't want to keep breeding aggression into my rabbit tree. So, um, it is just how it goes. Sometimes you've got to call the ones that you name, which yes, it does kind of suck sometimes, but it is the reality. Make sure that's in the right place. Good. Cool. I'm trying to try to stay out of the sunlight. <laughs> and like I said, uh, I'm going to try to do this purple ink. We'll see how it goes. I've actually got um, this litter in here. Well, it's actually two litters, kind of. It's um, Tundra and Sprig, but then there's two Creme d'Argent's in the litter as well because those were clove babies before clove we had, before we had to put clove down so um there's two of her babies in this litter and then there's another litter out of twix and sprig where i have one more of those creme d'argent so only three of them survived it was kind of a sad situation but yeah rabbits <sighs> Yeah, if you have an aggressive doe, I would cull. You don't want to 
you don't want to perpetuate the problem, you know. With creams, it's a little bit tough because they're they're kind of harder to find. So I wanted to use cassia as much as I could. And she gave me vanilla. I think uh, vanilla is a bit of a step up. Vanilla is a little bit moody, I think. Um, I have been bit by vanilla already a couple of times. So hopefully that doesn't continue. I really don't want it to. Um, but yeah, we're, we're trying not to perpetuate that problem. I should have done this before I started the live stream as well. I don't even know what number I'm supposed to be on right now, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have to look in my phone, guys. Um, oh, and I really should share this stream to Instagram. Hang on just a moment. Let me share this. Oh. Oh, wow, Jameson. We have two quails that are out. That happens super fast. You guys, we have quails that are like hatching right now. I don't... The incubator right there. I knew that they had been... Uh, they were pipping. But I, I didn't know that they were out, so cool. Hang on. Oh, that's so cool. They are uh temperature okay. Um they are scarlet red range tuxedo from uh Southwest Game Birds. Oh, thank you, Aria. Uh, they're, yeah, they're a Scarlet Red Range Salon from Southwest Game Birds. I'm really excited for them. That's so cool. I, I did not know that they were going to hatch during the stream. I knew that they were pipping. I didn't know that happened that quickly. So, um, yeah, hang on a second. <laughs> How many chances would I give a stubborn dough before culling or selling, etc.? What would you do if you can't get her bread? If I can't get a dough bread, um, so we kind of had the situation in the past with Cricket. Uh, yeah, it was Cricket. Um, and we got her bread. Uh, the first time she was bred, she gave, did she give birth? They all, I think they all, now I can't remember what happened. I think they all died. Or maybe she didn't even take. I don't know. It was like three times that we tried breeding her. She never really got it. Like the very last time that we bred her, she had a really small litter of like four, I think. And she did a good job like raising them. But overall, I just didn't really see her fit to um, be a producer for anybody else. And... Uh, I didn't feel comfortable selling her because she had never made weight either. So we just cold, which is sad. Um, it's always sad. But uh, yeah, we just cold her because I don't know. It's it's just not, it's not worth. Yeah, I don't want to give that. To, I don't want to give that problem to somebody else. So that's kind of why. But hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, um, she just, she gave me Sparrow. Um, I like Sparrow because I think that she has good confirmation, but she's not a show rabbit whatsoever. She's got weird fur. Um, she's on the smaller side as well. So, I mean, you don't want to keep breeding small rabbits. Like, that's why I tell people, like, don't buy rabbits that aren't making weight because you're going to keep having the problem. And it's going to take a long time to get out of that problem. Ask me because that's happened to me. Um, but anyway, I, I've just resorted to calling like super, super hard. And even when it's like, it's difficult sometimes to do that, but I just, I don't find, I don't find value in, in trying to keep a problem around if it's not getting me anywhere. Now, that being said, <laughs> I did keep Sparrow and I have Sparrow. So far we bred her one time. And the buck had a ton of fall-offs and she didn't get pregnant, I guess. She never made a nest. She never did anything. She, yeah, she never had babies. So um, I'm going to try again. Uh, I think I'm going to take her to Minicon and 
try to breed her again. And if she doesn't get pregnant again, I think I'm done with her. I know they usually say three strike rule, but I, I think I'll probably be done with her if, if she doesn't get pregnant again, because I just can't, I can't keep doing that. Um, no, it's not been continued down the line. It's just the parent, her parents, like, let's go back to like the very beginning of like cricket. So we made cricket by breeding Cole to Bella. And that was Cricket's mom and dad. Bella always produced huge litters. Cole produced lots of litters. I actually sold him to a homestead family and he's continued to produce really large litters. So it's not the parents there. It's something about Cricket. Um, and then she gave me Sparrow, who's also a bit small that we've been having issues with. So yeah, like I said, if I can't get Sparrow bred then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop trying with that line. I think right now I keep telling my friends, it's almost just nostalgia, like with that line, like I just want to continue the line for the sake of saying like, I can, I started it with my actual, like two of my starters. So it's, it's just like, uh, I don't know what the word for it is. I just, I want to, I want to keep going with that specific line, but if I really truly can't, then I'm just, I'm not going to keep trying because it's not worth it. Um, hopefully that is not the link. Holy crap, that is not the link. Uh, hang on, guys. Apparently I can't talk and post on Instagram at the same time. I'm not multi multi-talented like that. It's a good gif for live live stream. There we go. Cool. We're on Instagram. <laughs> yes, it was a foundational line. Um, so it's just it's more like a, a personal goal of mine, but I don't know if it I don't know if it's gonna work out. I guess we will find out. You're in sharpening her claws on my my computer chair. Um, but yeah, let me see what number I'm on. Am I on 89? I think I'm on 89. You guys, I'm going to break like TS 200 pretty quickly. That's cool. It's over 200 rabbits that I've tattooed since 2020. That's crazy a lot of rabbits uh, that's not nearly as many as some people have but it's a lot for me you know what I probably have this in a notebook have you guys seen the <laughs> we got a drone and our last video, we did some drone footage. Or no, that was the that was the last video. It was two videos ago, I think. Maybe. Or was it the last video? I don't even know. I don't know what's going on in my life anymore. But um, yeah, we got a drone. We, we're starting to do drone footage. It's a lot of fun. It actually, it brings something new to the videos. I think you guys probably will like it. Let me know if you like the drone footage. It is not in this notebook. So disorganized, you guys. for 189. There has been a huge influx 
of people wanting creams. It's crazy. I actually, um, exciting thing that just happened. I just purchased a new cream buck today. He's being transported to me. I'm very excited about that. I really, really need a new buck out there or some new blood out there. Um, he's coming from South Carolina from Garrett Sanders. I'm really, really stoked about that. Garrett has some really pretty rabbits. He cares a lot about them. Kind of in the same way that that I think I do, but he's a little bit more experienced than me. So it's been a lot of fun getting to know him and his rabbitry and all of that. So we are just going to start with TS-189 and hope that I haven't done that number already. I don't think I have. There are blacks, blues, and two creme de argents in this litter. So colorful. Okay. Ooh, sorry guys, didn't mean to slam it down on you. Look at this blue, you guys. Look at that blue silver fox. Isn't that pretty? We don't get a lot of blues around here, but when we do, they're very pretty. We have some chocolates out there too. And if I if I do what I think I might do this week and do just like a whole bunch of live streams instead of doing a video, you guys might see chocolates this week as well. It's a cute bunny. Very, very cute. We've got some big rabbits in here too. I didn't bring the scale in here. I'm gonna do it all out there. It's it's just a lot on my desk to do, so we're gonna skip that part today. Do not back up like that. There we go. Good. I love hearing that my rabbits are doing good. That litter, yeah, I, 183 was the sweetest in that litter. I remember her. I do try to remember most of <laughs> the rabbits that I sell. How do I know what number? I've just literally since 2020 been counting up from zero <laughs> or one. I guess I didn't do a zero, but I just got it. I, I started at TS001. Um, this little guy is going to be 189. So, and they are, I believe, 12 weeks old. Now that's, I've really procrastinated because I like tattooing anytime after eight weeks old, but yeah, I've really procrastinated on this litter. They are very, very pretty though. Let's move the camera just a tad bit. I want it to move it right there. See if that works and bring that. That's a little bit too much. That's so crooked. You guys, I bet you don't know another YouTuber that has as many struggles with framing as I do. Why does that look so crooked to me? That'll do. That'll do for right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am not going to pretend I'm something I'm not. I'm really bad with uh, yeah, all that sometimes. These guys do not want to pose, but I've not really worked with them at all. So that's probably why. This whole litter is very pretty, though. I really, really like the pairing between Sprig and Tundra a lot. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing this summer is I'm going to be downsizing on my silver boxes just a little bit. And uh, we're kind of going to, I think we're going to focus on mainly Sprig and Tundra and Roulette. And then we're also going to see, like I said, if we can breed Sparrow. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we're surely going to try. So. 
secretly just don't want you guys to see how much I'm struggling with trying to put them in the bunny wraps. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really hate moving the camera all over the place. It's so annoying. Rabbit tree tours. I can, I can probably do that. I feel like, dude. I feel like my rabbitry is so small. I mean, when, when it comes to rabbitry tours, are you looking for, like, me to introduce to you all the rabbits? Or do you literally just like seeing the setups? Because that's the part that I think... Uh, I think that confuses me. I don't know if people actually are interested in, in seeing all the rabbits and their names because... I don't know I sell blues. I'll probably sell these guys because they're very very big like I really like them um, I'm not planning on keeping any of them but I'm gonna keep them probably until uh, creme de argent nationals we'll see okay like I said 189 and I'm not going to move the camera I am so glad that you said, as a viewer, you would rather just one camera position because so would I. <laughs> I just never really know what people want. If you guys do want to see me actually tattoo the rabbits, uh, I have lots of videos. Lots and lots of videos. Well, not lots and lots. I probably have like four or five tattoo live streams that I've done in the past where I actually show, uh, you know, move the camera around and all of that. So... I would encourage you to go watch that if that's what you're wanting to see. But today I'm just going to be doing a chill kind of live stream. So I'm going to tattoo this guy, CS189. See how this blue ink, or not blue, purple, purple ink goes. Fingers are going to be purple after this. This is not wanting to pick up ink. I'm going to charge this one up, I guess. I just saw where is your new cream buck coming from? He is, or where is he? Or where is he coming from? I don't know. Uh, he is coming from South Carolina. From GM Rabbitry. It's going to be nice to have some new blood here. Hang on, he just popped his head out. Don't, dude. You don't want to do that. He's coming from South Carolina. GM Rabbitry. Garrett shows a lot. He knows a lot about the breed, so I'm really hoping he kind of helps us uh, with shorter bodies and stuff like that with our creams. Just little stuff like that that we've been working on improving. Dude. I don't know how you're doing this. There we go.
rabbit does not want to be tattooed. Have I thought about doing a class? I have thought about doing that, um, but privacy is a big thing. Also, where we currently live, I don't think that they would appreciate if I did that here. Um, but yeah, I think it would be really fun to do for sure. Uh, I don't know what that looks like in the future, so I guess we will see. I like that purple ink. This rabbit would not stand still as I was trying to do that. Eh, it's an okay tattoo. I don't know. At least we can smooth it out. Let me smooth it out, you guys. Okay, that should do it. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, creams are hard to find. It's difficult. Um, Elizabeth, good to know about what you like to see for rabbitry tours. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, going over a second time. Look at the cotton ball. There's so much just purple. My hands are going to be completely purple tonight. I love it. At least it's a color I actually like, you know? All right, dude. We're done. Finally. That was very difficult for you, I know. Spring cleaning to the rabbitry, yes. I really need to clean my rabbit tree. Just kind of waiting right now. There's so much stuff going on too with um, uh, many convention is this weekend and we also have Creme d'Argent Nationals at almost the end of next month. Um, so yeah, it's, there's a lot going on. I just haven't really nailed down my schedule of when I'm going to do what yet. So let's see. Okay. TS 189. Let's see if it is a girl or a boy. I'm pretty sure one of these blues is a girl and one of them is a boy. I think this one's probably the doe. It is. I don't know how I guessed that. I just kind of knew she looks good though. She's freaking out enough on me, right? All toes. Yeah, I really like this color. It's cool. Maybe purple will become our new thing. We'll see. Okay. Let me get to the next one. If any of you didn't hear this before, um, we currently have quail chicks hatching over there, so uh, I'll be counting those as the night goes on. <laughs> There's two of them right now. Let's 
This is a very silvery, silver fox. Look at her. I love the over silver ones. I think they're pretty. I have done a video on spring cleaning when I did the, the hutch. That was a big ordeal. You're pretty. So pretty. Does it scare you? Yeah, if, if you look up from last year, I had a video on spring cleaning and good Lord, that was a mess out there. Well, this one's being a lot more calm so far. I wonder if I can get in the middle again. I'm gonna try to move you guys. Well, not move you guys, but move myself. <laughs> Just don't want the sun to come back. It ruins my plans. By the way, um, is this video full screen for you guys? I think it is. I was having issues with uh, there being like black bars on the sides of my videos and I'm pretty sure I figured out what the problem was, so that's good. That's better. Now hopefully I don't get the sunlight in my face again. Okay, girly. Oh boy, you look like a girl. That's a nice little rabbit. That rabbit's got some good shoulders on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I really like that one. I have, sorry, hang on. <laughs> I have a special lens that, uh, I really, well, okay. I, I have a special lens that has a UV type, uh, thing on it. I don't know where it is. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but you just twist it. It's a, what's it called? Um, KD filter, something like that. It's made to, uh, it really tones down. Like if you want to have like a, an aperture of 2.8, but it's like blasting sunlight out that it allows you to do that. It's been like a really, really nice investment. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I really, really like it. Um, but it doesn't really help when, when the sunlight is literally like blaring on your face. So, you know, um, but what I really need to do is I just need to get curtains for this window. That would really help. That would be the cheap alternative. <laughs> when I get to 99, will I just start over? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That is years away, possibly. Who knows? Oh God, the sun's coming back. <laughs> Hey, you get freaked out. This rabbit, I really like. I didn't see if it was a buck or a doe. I'm going to kind of guess it's a doe. Let's see if I'm right. I, I feel like some people make fun of me because I say that I can tell by personality and by, like, the way they look and stuff. But let's just see if it's a girl. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Got like 30 something people here. At least that's what I'm seeing. Hello guys. If you are new here, you can currently see we have quail chicks hatching. You can see them moving around in the incubator over there. And we are tattooing rabbits. And it's just a party. This is TS190. Hopefully she tattoos much easier than that last one. Ooh, 
Don't drip like that. That scares me. It's not going to be any easier. This litter, I should have handled them more as babies. I did not. Probably would have been good to do that, but I just have not had time to really handle them all. trying to situate her in a way that she cannot move her head. Just keep moving around. Wish me luck with this tattoo, guys. these new needles, huh? I wonder if they're just like really sharp. Good lord, that was a stressful one. Let's see what it looks like. Normally I tattoo between, well, I mean, I tattoo between eight and 12 weeks old usually. These guys are 12 weeks old. I don't like to wait usually quite this long, but just been procrastinating as per usual. I just realized that I didn't put any of that um, healing balm on the last one though. So I will have to do that here in a minute. Um, I did decide which needle. Uh, I actually really do like the 3.1s. They're the thinner ones. I just feel like, I mean, I know I have to go, I usually have to go over them twice at least to get the, the thickness of the line that I want, but I actually really do like the amount of control that you have with them. The five point needles are really like super thick and, and they're nice, but uh, if you make a mistake, it's there. Like it, it, it is there to stay. So, uh, that's one of the downsides I feel like with the five pointers, but I really did. I really do like the, uh, yeah, that's what I was, I really do like the, uh, three point ones I think best. And I talked about this in my last tattoo live stream too. 
All Things Bunny sells a bunny balm, which I think is really, really great. But also, if you want a semi-cheaper alternative, I bought a bunch of this chapstick. Let's see if it focuses on there. I bought a bunch of this chapstick here. And it's made with, like, the ingredients literally organic sunflower oil, organic beeswax, organic argan oil, organic coconut oil, vitamin E, like, rosemary extract, and calendula flower extract. So this is literally probably just as good, if not better, than the bunny balm. Uh, and it's, like, it's super easy to apply because, you know, you just, you just draw it on there. Whereas the bunny balm, you have to stick your finger in there and then, like, you know, do that. So I actually really like using that chapstick. Um, it's, it's been really nice. And I just got it on Amazon, so. Uh, is the 8 to 12 week mark when the buns are grown enough to determine if they are either a coal or a potential or potential bun? I love that. Uh, usually, if I am really going to be looking for... Uh, if it's a keeper or a rabbit that I want to sell, I'm going to wait usually until they're around 12 weeks old. A lot of breeders don't do that. Um, I know a lot of us in the silver fox community, we really like push um, waiting until at least 12 weeks old, which I think is a really good idea because when a baby is eight weeks old, you really can't. I mean, there's, there's going to be, God, hopefully I didn't <laughs> always do that. You guys, I always think I get tattoo on myself or tattoo ink on myself. Um, there's so much transformation that happens between eight and 12 weeks and even 12 to 16 weeks, so much transformation, like narrow shoulders can buff out so much, like you wouldn't believe. So you could potentially call a rabbit for having narrow shoulders at eight weeks old. But if you had waited another four weeks old or four weeks, you might've had some really big shoulders on that rabbit. So I always say it's not even really worth it to pose them up. I mean, to, if you want to practice posing with them at eight weeks old, go for it. That's amazing. Do it. But I wouldn't really take them seriously until they're around 12 weeks old personally, especially if you're looking to show them um, and looking for yourself. If you want to pick the best one in the litter, you got to keep the litter until they're like 12 weeks old at least. 16 weeks is better. So uh if you want to get started in rabbits and you want to pick the best of the best, I encourage you to have the, the grow out space to do so um, because you're going to have a lot of baby rabbits and you're going to grow them out until they're quite big. So that is my two cents. Um, some breeders don't do that, but that's what I do. I said, oh, guys, I was wrong. <laughs> it's a buck. Oh man, I was wrong. It's a nice little buck though. Okay, so I, I deserve the making fun of for, for thinking that I can tell just from the looks of a baby, whether it's a doe or a buck. I was wrong on this one. So I like this one a lot though. Let me make a note on him. He is over silvered. <clears throat> Do not be afraid to show the over silvered ones some love because the body is more important than the silvering. But I mean, look at that silvering. I think that's so pretty. You're a pretty bun bun. Okay, uh, let me make a note on this guy. And also, I need to put some bunny balm on this one that I forgot, so hang on. Call it bunny balm, it's not necessarily bunny balm. It's uh, this purple ink, the way that I am uh, putting on there, I'm putting it on like so dark that, sorry, I'm messing with the eyes. So I'm putting it on there so dark that it actually looks kind of black. So I'm hoping that, <laughs> hoping that when it fades out, it'll actually look purpley. Oh, there's ink all over me. It is a very gorgeous rabbit. Um, yeah, I, I need to get some post pictures of that one because it was really pretty. The shoulders on it were very, very nice. I, I liked it a lot. But I don't know if I'm keeping anybody. We'll see. 
Uh, we've got a lot going on this year. Um, in case I haven't implied that enough on my videos, <laughs> sorry. Um, I will explain more um, soon, but I am downsizing a little bit on my rabbitry. Excuse me. And also, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be holding back many rabbits um, or going to many shows during the summer. So we will see. I can't really talk about it a whole lot. I'm going to put a little asterisk, asterisk next to that one because I like him. Okay, next. Yeah. Got another blue to do. Oh, I still just have two quail chicks. Another blue. Cool. <laughs> You are so cute. This one must be the boy. I love having blues. I'm really, really happy that Sprig and Tundra pairing together make blues. That's really cool. Oh, that is a pretty blue. Ooh, I like. Ooh, I like that blue. It's always the boys that are so pretty. I really like this blue a lot. Where did I put my oh, GGs? There it is. I saw somebody ask if I've tanned any hides. Yes, we have tanned hides. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. Um, you guys understand. Uh, we do tan hides. We haven't in a while. Haven't done any this year, actually. But I really need to because I've got some in my freezer. Um, we do salt and alum. We've tried egg and salt method. I don't like that method. I mean, I made it work. Uh, my laptop is actually sitting on top of a rabbit hide that was tanned with the egg and salt method. Yeah, it works just fine. But alum and salt... It's a much longer process, but it is so much worth it. So much more worth it because it is, I don't know, it, it works a lot better. Like, especially when you're peeling off like membrane, the egg method, it is brutal <laughs> trying to peel, like to flush the hide uh, with the egg method. It's brutal. I hate doing that. Um, but with the alum method, it peels off. Don't, oh, what are you doing? Sorry, <laughs> he's just trying to like chew the cord that has my keyboard for my work computer hooked up. Um, dude, you are squirmy as so I'll get out. Uh, anyway, um, the alum method, when you soak them like that, the membrane, you can sometimes peel it off all in one piece. Like Jameson and I were sitting out on the deck last summer peeling them. Sometimes we peeled them all in one piece, like almost all in piece. And it was so satisfying and it was so easy to do though. Um, so I really do want to do a video on that. I really should do a video on that soon, actually, um, because we just tested ways to do it last year. We wanted to make sure, I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers that like do something one time and then they're just like, they think they're a master at it, which is, I mean, I understand like some people, some people are naturally really good at things, which is great. But I wanted to experiment and make sure 100% that I knew what I was talking about before I got on and said, this is why we like doing it this way. So that's just kind of how my thought process is. But what does tanning mean? Tanning is just like, basically, uh, when you take a rabbit hide off and you turn the the uh, hide portion of it into leather and kind of just preserve it. That's, that's what tanning is kind of. So, um... Elizabeth, yes, I usually wait until 12, <clears throat> hair, sorry. I usually wait between 12 and 16 weeks to see breeding potential. Uh, it's, it's just better to wait. Um, and yes, it does get tougher, the meat that is, uh, the, if you wait until 16 weeks, no, I wouldn't really say it's tough. It's, really, really good eating when they're eight weeks old. I will say that it's the best eating when they're eight to 10 weeks old. 
but there's a problem <laughs> because like we have to hold on to them until they're a little bit older to really like decipher who we're keeping and whatnot. So, but I, I don't think that, I don't think it's really like a lot tougher when they're 16 weeks old. It's tough when you wait and it's a buck and it's like six months plus old. I hate, I hate butchering bucks that are like six months old and up. I hate it. It's, it's awful. Jameson hates it too. It's just awful. <laughs> But um, for those older ones, though, if you want more tender meat, that's where stuff like brining comes in to like kind of tenderize it. So whereas like eight to 10 week olds, you can like fry them up like fried chicken and it'll still be tender. With a 16 week old, you're going to have to brine it for a little bit longer to kind of tenderize it a little bit. At least that's that's our experience with it. Um, so it is. Yeah. Uh, it just, you, there's pros and cons to both ways of doing it. But if you're just breeding meat rabbits and you have a nice pair of breeders, just call it eight to 10 weeks old or eight to 12 or whatever. But if you're breeding for show and you want to breed for like, you know, selling them and everything, then, uh, yeah, you're probably going to have to wait. So, um, Let's see. Oh, breeding it. Wait. So um, if you're asking what age to breed rabbits at, if that's what you're asking, correct me if I'm wrong, you can breed bucks anytime they're ready. I've bred a four and a half month old buck <clears throat> and he produced nine kits <laughs> with that doe. It was great. So anytime they're ready, anytime four plus months old, you can start trying at four months old. Uh, I've had lots of people tell me that they've been able to do that. So um, not with the does though. Don't start your does at four months old. They're probably not going to be receptive at four months old anyway. But bucks, definitely. Bucks can go for four months old and up. They're good to go. Um, they might be shooting blanks when they're super duper young. Um but once, well, I would say once they're between four and five months old, that's kind of when they mature and you don't, I mean, you're going to, they're going to be potent. Potent is the word that I like to use. With does, um, it really depends on the doe because if it's a doe that I want to show, it depends on the show schedule. Uh, so I will, I, I, I've waited, I think as long as 10 months to breed my doe um, because I wanted to show her. So, I mean, dude, what are you eating? I'm trying to make sure that they're not eating anything important down there. Uh, <laughs> you're sitting there taking notes. I love it. I really got to tattoo this guy before his numbing spray wears off. So I'll answer this one really quick though. Um, but uh, yeah, so does, if they are six months old and senior weight, which for silver foxes would be 10 pounds. So if, the US, if you have a six month old silver fox doe and she's hit 10 pounds and you don't really care to show breeder, that's fine. Uh, there's, there, I feel like there's a little bit more of a chance of like a failed litter when you do breed them that soon. Um, but I would, I would just try anyway, because I mean, you don't really have much to lose. Uh, but if you are planning to show, um, like, oh, here's another situation though. If you have a doe that doesn't hit senior weight until like between eight and nine months old, I would probably wait until she hits senior weight. For Sparrow anyway, I waited until she was eight and a half months old. She's still not senior weight. I don't think that she's going to be. Uh, and so I'm just breeding her anyway because she's done growing. Uh, so there's really not a whole lot I can do about that, but, uh, yeah, I would I would just say, you know, you always want to you always want to breed like senior weight rabbits and yeah, that's basically it. So if you're breeding for meat, if they're 6 months old and they're senior weight, go for it. Have fun. But for show, I do like to wait. I tend to wait until my rabbits are at least 8 months old. So that's just my personal preference. Let me wrap this guy. He's being crazy.
Oh, you know what? I did not share this to the Facebook group, actually. I should probably do that. <laughs> now that we've done, like, almost half the round. No, that's not true. We've only done three of them. Okay, this guy is TS191. He is not already making this not easy for me. God, I keep dropping the alcohol everywhere. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. This glitter is not having it. These guys do not want to be tattooed. Okay, well, it's getting dark in here, isn't it? Might actually have to bring the ring light in here. Bear with me, guys. I, didn't even, I feel like I looked up like after I was done with that tattoo and I'm like, holy crap, it's like actually getting really dark now. Hey, Jay Amison. Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Could you bring me the ring light? Yeah. Please. Yeah. What? What? Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Can you take all of your cords off of it? No. Please? They don't need to be off. What? They don't need to be off. I don't want all those in here. They don't have to go anywhere. They can sit there. I don't want them in here. They look cluttery. Don't take them away. <laughs> no cords for you. What do you want to plug in? Say hi to the people. Hi, people. Um, The bigger one that's plugged in down there. You can unplug that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Can you turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just going to come in here and just plug it in and leave. Well, I don't know. You do things <laughs> like that. You just got your hands full. It's just like, all right, we'll have fun with your ring light. I don't know why you <laughs> want to sit in the dark without the light, but whatever. Hot 
Oh, that's cool. Can you take it over there? And like face it like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that one on here. It's a lot better. That is a lot better. I'll I'll have I have two ring lights. You guys have a desk ring light and I have a a regular ring light and it really helps with this whole situation. Thank you. I have purple all over my hands. It speaks to your integrity. Right? Can you read that? Um, T5L backwards P. No. And another L. No. You're just making fun of me. <laughs> my husband gives me such a hard time every day of my life. You guys should feel sorry for me. Oh, you know what? They oh, could probably fine. like donate five dollars to Kofi and make up for it. <laughs> you know, just uh, you know, reparations. That yeah. They don't really need to pay, but we need. <laughs> I love it. Hang on, I'll turn on the other ring light and then the lighting will get way better, I swear. Look at this bun bun. I know, you probably do not like me right now. And these blues, though, they're very, very pretty. I love the blues. I don't have a link to the salt and alum tanning. I just Googled it. This is, oh gosh. Hang on a second. Did we say the other one was a girl? I think we did. I... It's an almost 12 week old rabbit. It almost looks like a I don't want to say it's split because it's still young it looks weird though so I'm going to keep an eye on that but it is supposed to be a buck I think so we'll just have to keep an eye on that one you're coming in here you can talk to them I don't care we're talking about rabbits and stuff. Hang on, guys. Let me Where's that plug that out. Oh, oh, yeah. Hang on. I gotta. I gotta get down here. How much does a chimney cost? Chimney. Mm -hmm. Chimney. How much does a chimney cost? I don't know. It's free. It's on the house. <laughs> Okay, there. Ah, that's blinding. That's a lot better. Yeah, that is much better. Oops, sorry guys. Um. How does that picture look? Does that look good? Is it too bright, too dark, too orange? I think it's too orange. I don't know how to fix it while it's filming. That's not what we want. Hang on. Actually, I think it's... No. I don't know. It's it's a tad orange. I think we can live with it. I'm not really sure how to fix it on the touch screen. I know how to I know how to do a manual camera. But Hmm. How do we do auto? That's is auto any better? That's too bluish. 
I guess we'll keep it like this. This looks fine. No, that that blue, that, that was unintentional. Sorry about that. It did. It was changing all over the place because <laughs> I messed with my camera way too much. Kevin, I just saw... How do you say it? Do you say viril? Vir vir I don't know how to pronounce that. Potent. Viril. Uh, for the salt and alum tanning, it was a blog post. Um, if you just, I think if you just Google rabbit hide salt and alum tanning, you'll find a blog post. It's a bit, uh, it's odd, but I like it. <laughs> So, I mean, that's the one that we followed, but obviously everybody kind of finds their own way of doing things. And uh, that's what we've been doing. So, there, yeah. I, I know how, I, I will say that from now on instead. <sighs> okay. Or he's after the cat. Chick cat is still too. I don't want to slam it down. Levi, my tattoo identification system is literally just TS for teal stone. And then we've been counting up from one since 2020. So we're currently on 192. This rabbit has some thick ears. I feel like that's thicker than the other ones. Come here. There we go. Yeah, we don't, it's nothing fancy, honestly. Someday I might come up with a code, but I've been saying that for a really long time now, so we'll see if that ever happens. Have we really been live for over an hour now? And we're not even halfway done, you guys. <laughs> I wanted to do it this way because I thought for sure, uh, it would go faster, but apparently I was wrong. It's probably for that. Ugh. Okay, my dude. 192. You've got some big ears. Ah, why does everybody want to chew the keyboard wire? Okay, TS. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is the cord that I'm using to film with right now, and he just. Stop. <laughs> He's trying to cut you guys off. You're crazy. You are a crazy one. Quit it. T we just did TS191. I don't know if catnip is safe for bunnies. I, I didn't I have no clue. Oh, that was a blue. The last one anyway. Yeah, I've never done any research on catnip for rabbits, so. If pelts are the focus, you want to wait until 16 to 20 weeks old. Because the pelts aren't going to be done until then. 
Like you'll have you'll sometimes they'll look like they're done, but they'll go through a final molt around you know that 16 to, to 20 week mark. And you're gonna want to wait until that because that's when it when the pelt is really like you know finishing out. So we wrap this guy. He was crazy. I got my bunny burrito. What do we say? This is 192. Okay, here we go, guys. Yeah, that'd be cool. I have to do some more reading about catnip. I wouldn't really know. I've never really researched catnip a whole lot. Come on. Wow. I'm just reading all the catnip mosquitoes. Some experiments are like, why would you do that? You know, like, what is the point? Almost done. Hang on. One more run. We got his head out. Woo! That scared me. <laughs> it's okay because we're actually done. You good? None of you guys are having a great time right now, huh?
I get asked sometimes how I do good good tattoos because my tattoos I don't want to I don't want to brag but they're pretty good but honestly it's all about restraint don't let the rabbit move and honestly that's the best thing that you can do anyway because if you let them move too much they can honestly hurt themselves so you restrain them really well you get really good tattoos but also you get a rabbit that does not hurt itself it's very important When your face itches, but you have ink all over your hands. It's a struggle. I, uh, if you go look at some of my other tattoo live streams, I have a bunny wrap. Um, which is Velcro all the way around. So it, it Velcros around the rabbit so they can't like buck and kick. Uh, but then I also have a towel that helps me kind of hold them down just a little bit more. Um, so that's kind of what I do. But I burrito them and then I kind of trap them inside of it. So I'm sure that it's not a pleasant experience for them, but I'm also sure that they're not going to get hurt and that I'm going to get a clear tattoo. So that's why I do it like that. It doesn't hurt them. It's just probably not the most pleasant experience. So. Oh, we didn't even check. Hang on. We didn't check if this was a dough or a mug. This one is a dough. Down the back here. This is a nice, thick feeling bun bun. Yeah, tattoo wraps are, would be really good for if you have to clip tone. I mean, so I've used it for clipping toenails a couple of times. Honestly, for toenails, though, I usually just prefer uh, a big towel. That usually is pretty easy to do. Um, but it would definitely work for a cat, probably. So, you know, I'm sorry. Flipped you over quite crazily. This is another dough. I'm not letting them run around on my desk because they keep trying to cut all of my cords. I did grow up with rabbits. I got started in rabbits when I was, mm, I don't even know. I always usually say between nine and 10, I think, or 11. It was between nine and 11, something like that. Uh, and I got into rabbits because my mom brought a couple rabbits home for Easter because she was trying to be fun for me and my brother. and. Uh, they had babies, and I kept one of the mini lops. They were they were mini lops, by the way. If I didn't say that, uh, and we did for well, I did 4-H with them. Um, ended up getting Holland lops. Ended up getting Dutch, which I really focused on during my teenage years. And then I had to, I actually really got into Dutch and had a whole like rabbitry when I was growing up. And then 
uh, I had to sell all of them when I went to college. So when I was like 18 and a half that summer, I had to sell all the rabbits. So it was really sad. Uh, and I didn't get back into them until like 10 years later. So the passion did not die. <laughs> I just had to go through college. We got married. We were living in a rental for a while. Then we moved here. Then I finally got back into them after a uh, couple of years of living here. So it's been great. I love rabbits. I never had silver foxes and I never had creme d'argents when I was a kid, but I love them. They are my favorites. Those two breeds I just love. Let me wrap this rabbit up. Come here. Oh, we're going backwards with you. Yeah, this is the bunny wrap. I just have the ears sticking out the top of it. And I just really have to wrap them up tight so they don't squirm too much. I flip them on their side and I'm left-handed, so I have a lot easier of a time when I'm able to flip them on their side and do this. I feel like a lot of people try to do it like top view down. It's so hard for me to do that. I can't do that. Lefties are the best. They're creative people. That's what I was always told. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but I was always told that lefties are creative people. That rabbit <laughs> almost made me tattoo my own finger, which has happened already before. I don't want another one. Ooh, now the sun is coming back out. I thought we were done with that. Ooh. Sorry, guys. It is going down. It's just, it was behind a cloud for a really long time. You can see my camera.
go. Oh Lord, I had my I have my leg up here because I have the rabbit like resting on my leg, and oh, it's cramping up. <laughs> it is cramping up real bad. Jeez. Good, the sun went away again. Okay. Now I can say we're over halfway done, but I really do need to hurry up. It's taking longer than I thought. Did I say that was a no? Yep, I've already written that one down. We're gonna do the two black silver foxes that are left, and then we've got two creme de argents to do at the very end. Oh, neck. It's a nice little rabbit. Yeah, I like you. I like you, but I'm still not gonna let you be up there. So, Anybody planting their garden yet? I was out planting my garden this weekend. Not everything. I really need to plant my corn. I'm like, I kind of got a little bit busy and my dates are a little bit behind now. And I really need to plant my potatoes in my corn, but it's really wet out right now. So um, I can't, but this weekend I planted tomatoes that are gigantic already. I'm really excited because I feel like I'm going to get tomatoes like really early in the season. Um, I transplanted my kale, I transplanted my chamomile, I planted carrots, I transplanted my spinach, and I planted dill. I tried uh, starting my dill in the house, and it is the one thing that got, uh, what is it called, um, dampening off, I think that's what it's called, it's the one thing that died, so... Uh, I don't know if it had to do with my soil and how I mixed it, but yeah, the dill didn't make it in the house. Everything else did amazingly. I have two types of squash and I have sunflowers and I have nasturtium that are in pots currently and they are just kind of, I'm just kind of letting them get as big as they can in the pots and then, uh, then we are going to transplant them. I don't really know where the nasturtium, I don't know where some stuff's going yet. We'll figure it out, but um, I'm excited. Things have done really, really well this year. So Kayla says, how many are in this litter that you're tattooing? Well, the litter between Sprig and Tundra is seven. There were two blues and five blacks, but there are also two creme d'argents in this litter because uh, Tundra was fostering two creme d'argents for me in this litter. So there's technically nine total in this litter. So we are on number six right here. And then, yeah, the creams will be very last. So we get started in this one though. If you guys wonder why I spray them and then I talk or like stand around a little bit, it's because it takes about two minutes for the numbing spray to kick in. So I just, that's why I do that. <laughs> I, when I do this alone or before I was live streaming it all the time, I would just sit outside and I would, I would just continually say, 
you know, hey Siri, like set my timer for two minutes. And yeah, I don't need to do that anymore because I talk a lot and that usually fills up a lot more than two minutes. Logan, I need to put up a fence to keep my chickens out of the garden. They keep dust bathing and kicking all the dirt. I know. I feel your pain. And that is one of the reasons why I'm so glad that I now have my chickens fenced off because they were destroying everything. Our grass is starting to grow back. Thank the Lord. It's looking really good, actually. I'm happy that it's actually growing back as well as it is. But I thought for a while there that we just were doomed for a mud pit. It wasn't good. But yeah, they were dust bathing, especially in the fabric pots. They wouldn't leave it alone. So I'm happy that uh, we've gotten that taken care of. I could play music, but I would get demonetized. I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> I do like my part-time income. Unless it was like uh, royalty free, which I could do. I don't, I think that'd be a little bit, I don't know if it'd be weird or not. Could definitely do it. Litter is full of rabbits that just do not want tattoos. Okay. You're going a little bit crazy there, lovely. It's not a whole lot, but it pays the rabbit feed bill, is what I like to say. <laughs> Which is the goal, because it is mostly about the rabbits, so if we could equal that out, that would be amazing. As much as these guys are squirming, I'm afraid I'm going to get a screamer, which would be like really, really bad. I don't want you guys to hear that. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a, I think I've had a total of one rabbit that screamed while I tattooed it. And I don't think it was because it hurt. I think it was because it was literally just like one of those freak out type of rabbits. But it's happened. I don't want it to happen while I'm live. Uh, how many times a year do I breed each doe? Well, it really depends, again, on her conditioning. But I would probably say around four, maybe, four-ish times a year. That's probably pretty accurate. Uh, but again, it just really depends on her conditioning. I have bred back quickly before, which I don't really recommend doing if you really care about your breeders. But sometimes there's opportunities where I like, I'll be around my friends and they'll have a buck and I know I won't see them again for like several more months. So that's one of the situations where I would breed back really early. And then I would give her extra time off after the second litter. I've done that before. And it ended up being really fun and really good. So 
but if they're in really bad condition, I wouldn't, I wouldn't breed them, but that rabbit in particular was in really good condition. So I was like, you know what? She's fine. And she was. So make sure you feel your rabbits. If they feel bony, don't breed them because they will, they will go downhill. And if a rabbit is out of condition when it gives birth, it's not going to be able to feed its babies enough to really get them up to the weight that they're supposed to be. So in the end, you're going to suffer because you're not going to get rabbits that get up to weight and your doe is going to be in very poor shape. So always watch your does. Make sure that they are doing like they they're the ones that you want to watch the most. Uh, I think anyway, when you're when you're breeding rabbits, you want to make sure that your does are healthy because they're the ones doing all the work. So that is just my opinion. Um, Kayla says, what are the reasons a doe would be very noisy when trying to breed? Is that her threatening or noise to tell the buck she's in the mood? She doesn't attack him, but also is one year and not experienced. Um, when they're noisy, it usually means they're really irritated, typically. Um, so yeah, usually that means that they are not into it and they're very irritated and they want nothing to do with the buck. Usually that's what it means. So yeah, there's that. Um, sometimes it means that your doe's already bred. If you've bred, if you've tried to breed her, it sometimes... Let me back up. If you've bred her and you try to breed her again the next day, sometimes she will do that because she's basically telling the buck, back off, I've already been bred, I don't want to be in here with you. So sometimes that's the case. Um, uh, other times it could just mean that she's not feeling good, she doesn't want anything to do with it. I don't know. Uh, Kayla, with your situation, I don't know really what to say. Like, it's it's kind of baffling to me. I'm not really sure why after trying so many times. I would try supplemental lighting if you haven't done that yet. Because sometimes rabbits, when they're kept in more of a dark area, um, they won't want to breed. So I would try supplemental lighting. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I have a blog post on my website if you want to go and it's just how to breed rabbits part one. If you scroll like maybe halfway down or so, I don't, maybe halfway down, there's like several different things that you can try for does that are being difficult. Um, and that's what I would recommend you go read. Uh, I tried to think of most things in that blog post. So Maybe that would help you. I don't know. Um, is there anything special to do to keep the tattoos from fading? I've had a problem with them fading out after a month or so. Uh, you got to go deeper. Uh, I mean, I'll do my tattoos and then I'll wipe them off with alcohol and then I'll do them again. And you really want to make sure that you're getting in there, which it's, it, I mean, it's not. Uh, it's you want it to be really dark. So, and then I, I like to wipe everything off and make sure that even after I've wiped it all off, it's really, really dark. Um, that's what I do. And then I use the, the healing stuff, but, uh, is, what is the tattoo pin you use? You like it better than the clamp style? Yes, I like it better than the clamp style. I used to use the clamp a long time ago. Uh, sometimes the dots don't show up and then the judge can't read. <laughs> so I really do like the pen a lot. Um, I like writing anyway, so it's really nice. Uh, but it is a TV Tats pen from All Things Bunnies. They do make them themselves. So they're very good quality pens. I like them a lot. Uh, what are the signs that it's time to retire a doe or buck? How many litters? can a doe typically have in her lifetime? That is such, it's such an open question because it really, really depends on the doe. Uh, I've known does still giving birth at five years old, but you really just pay attention to your animals. If they start having like 
if they start not really taking care of their babies very well, or if they start having really little litter sizes, it's time to either cull or sell as a pet or however you want to do it. Um, I don't like selling as pets, so we cull here. It's very, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to pass off a rabbit that's not going to help somebody, so we will cull them. But uh, that's kind of what we do. I've, I've, you can have rabbits go. I don't know. I was, I would say five years still, like giving birth. But I mean, just watch them, and if you're noticing a decline in like the way that they're caring, caring for their babies, and how many they're having, and all of that, it's probably time to think about replacing them. So. Um, vitamin D is important in human horse dog reproduction. It wouldn't surprise me if it's similar for buns. Could be. Yeah, you could try supplementing. Um, I wouldn't supplement with straight vitamin D though. I would probably try to find vitamin D foods. Let's see what a vitamin D food would be. Um, let's see, mostly stuff that rabbits can't eat. Hang on. Sunshine. That's probably what you meant. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a lot of... I wonder if there's any like leafy greens. I don't know. I don't see anything. Yeah. Um, I would supplement with light if you haven't done that. Okay, this one. Let's see. Turn over. Don't flip. Don't flip. There we go. Good job. It's another doe. We've got a lot of does in this litter. I'm not complaining. You guys, I always tell people this. It is your job to tell me if I have ink on my face. Sometimes I don't see it. It's not super common for rabbits to have one baby, no. That is odd. I don't, I wouldn't want a litter of just one baby because that would worry me about it keeping itself warm. We're going to try another buck next time. Any thoughts of how to make her accept the original buck? I don't really... I don't really know what you mean. I feel like she would be fine with... Good job, Stacy. That's awesome. Or Tracy. I'm sorry, I read Stacy. Good job, Tracy. That's amazing. Processed first six rabbits last week. It went very well. Amazing. It's a good feeling knowing that you can process an animal and feed your family. Yeah, Kayla, I might. I, I might call if it's not working out. I, just, I don't have time to deal with that kind of thing personally. So I would probably have called by now. That's just me personally. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would almost wonder if something's wrong with her. But I don't know. Okay, gotta get the next one, guys. The last silver fox. I think this one's a little one. Look at that. That's a little baby. 
That's awesome. I really, really need to learn how to pressure can meat. I don't have a pressure canner yet. I've got an Instant Pot, but that, that can't pressure can. So I really do need to get one of those all-American pressure canners and teach myself how to do all of that. Uh, I'm honestly scared. I, I think that it's normal to be scared to use a pressure canner for the first time. I think that's kind of normal. So, But I will learn how to use it. <laughs> I just tend to freeze everything. You are a little one. I don't, I don't know what to think about that. This is the smallest one. It is a buck. Little tiny buck. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I would think that her time has come. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is sad. I, I hate, you know, when you invest so much time in them and they just don't end up working, it is a bummer for sure. So I feel ya. Did you call a doe that doesn't keep condition well while feeding a litter? Also, how long should it take for a doe to get back to full condition after weaning a litter? So I have been dealing with, uh, well, I dealt with clove. I don't, clove is a weird case though, but also cassia was having a really hard time getting back into condition. Um, so if you want to be really cutthroat, yeah, you give her a little bit of time, give her a couple weeks between litters, see if she recovers and regains condition. But if they don't, you might want to think about trying to continue on with somebody else who does. It's, it's so hard sometimes. I, with Vanilla, um, Vanilla is Cassie's daughter. I actually want to take Vanilla to nationals, but Vanilla has a litter right now. I don't know if she's going to look good by nationals, but I am trying to give her all of the exercise and supplements possible. She actually does look really, really good. So I'm thinking that it's all the supplementing that's really helping her. So to keep condition, I would almost try to just do a whole bunch of extra supplements. We've been doing a lot of oats. Did I spray his ear? Yeah, I did. Um, we've been doing a lot of oats, like rolled oats, black oil sunflower seeds, raw pumpkin seeds, um, uh, done flax seeds. Um, I also just recently got Heinold, uh, rabbit enhancer. That's been really good. They love that stuff. Um, and then what else have I been doing? Oh gosh. There's... We've been doing some greens like dandelions, um, so anytime you notice a rabbit going out of condition, I would try to supplement and keep them from doing that. Uh, I just really also want Vanilla to be able to feed her babies really well. I think it's going pretty well. So um, yeah, it's so hard though when they just don't hold condition. But I, I don't know. That's a tough one. Really depends on your relationship with the animal and how many rabbits you have to work with, honestly. So... That's what I would say. A rabbit with a crooked neck. Do you mean like holding its neck like this? Uh, Cause that could be E cuniculi. Um, which you, I believe you treat that with safeguard. I don't, that's the brand name. I don't know what, I can't remember what the actual medical name for it is. But yeah, that takes a long time to treat, like a month. Um, I don't, I don't really know what causes it. I know how to fix it. I don't really know how to, how, what causes it. Um, it can happen though. You saw one at an animal sale? I don't know why they would have an animal like that at an animal sale. <laughs> that is not good. Don't buy that rabbit. 
Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that. That is a medical problem. You guys, should I vlog mini convention? I think I should. If I have time, I think I should. I'm going to be there Saturday and Sunday. So I feel like I might have time, at least a little bit of time, maybe Sunday. I don't know if I'll have time on Saturday, but maybe Sunday. Do you guys like, like, when I make videos, would you guys actually enjoy seeing, like, judges judging animals? Or would that be super boring? Or would that be really interesting to some of you? Like, even you meet people, like, meet rabbit people that don't show. Like, do you think that's interesting or no? Let me know. This is TS-195. <laughs> Of course, this teeny tiny buck is literally the easiest one to tattoo so far. Shouldn't say that out loud. Change myself. So a, a resounding yes. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how long. I agree. I don't want to create like a 10 minute video of just judges commenting on stuff. So, okay. I'll keep that in mind. No promises, but I mean, I would like to. I think it would be fun. I think I would actually maybe be able to do it since it is a two day event. I don't have to rush around so much. Um, oh gosh, I don't know what to tell you about lion heads. I, I don't know the first thing about them. They're very cute. Tracy, all shows are hours away. <laughs> that is the crazy rabbit life. I drive hours for shows. I will be in Columbus. It's like a three hour drive for me. So yay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like driving that far away, but it's, it is what it is. It's is the crazy rabbit life. Unless you're talking like, you know, five plus hours away, then I would understand. <laughs> um, 
Kayla says, besides the breeds you have now and have done in the past, are there any other class six breeds you thought about trying and getting into? If so, why? Hmm. Not that I can really think of, like, before I got into silver foxes and creams, I had champagne d'argents and harlequins. They didn't end up working out, and I am fine with that. Um, I... I don't know. I, I don't really have any in mind. I've thought about doing New Zealand Reds before just because of the commercial like productivity level of them. But at the same time, I don't really think it's necessary. Jameson would like to do New Zealands, but I don't know. I just like the heritage breeds. They're my favorites. Um, so not really. I, I kind of I kind of like the ones that I have now. Ashlyn, don't worry. We are, we still have like two rabbits to go. So don't worry. Um, Tracy, that makes sense. If your truck has like 300,000 miles on it, that would scare me too. So that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I would not try, I have a little car. I would not trust that thing to go much further than an hour away if that. <laughs> Gammy's Bunny says, my buck's eyes keep watering. We have taken different things out of the cage, thinking maybe an allergy, but they keep watering. There is no other symptoms. Any idea what could be causing this? When you say watering, is it literally just water, or is there any goop, or what? If it's watering, like, that would, I mean, that sounds kind of like an allergy, but if there's goop, mm, could be something else. You have to process a litter of seven, seven 12-week-olds. It's a bunch. To me, it's a bunch. All right. Whenever we have processing day, we try to keep it under 10. Looks like tears. Mm. Yeah, that does sound like an allergy. One time, uh, Sprig and another rabbit that I had in my old, old hutch um, up here at the house uh, had watery eyes, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And it went on for probably like two weeks where they were just super watery. And I was like, what? I don't understand. I actually found out that there was a wasp nest in like above them. And I just couldn't see it because the roof was covering it. And I think they had been getting stung. And I think that's what was happening. Um, which I feel really, really bad about that. But I'm really glad that I caught what it was. I'm pretty sure there was a, a wasp up there that was causing it. Because once we moved it, they were fine. So... Yeah, I don't know if that's what caused it for them anyway, but really, Logan, they're hard to put weight on. I didn't know that. That makes me feel better, actually. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, New Zealand's, they're New Zealand, so they're they're super bred and, and super easy to get up to weight. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't put um I didn't put balm on this one. Hang on. Yeah, it was scary. He was awful. I felt really bad because you guys know that I love Sprig, so I felt really bad for him. Holy Stale, you're walking the chair everywhere. Okay. On to the creams, guys. Look at that. He's got some crazy hair. Oh, don't, don't freak out. Don't freak out. You're fine. This one needs time to mature into its coat. This is why I can't get rid of the silver breeds. Not really, because you really can't say what the coat's going to look like. Look at that little face, though. Um, these guys are all bucks, I'm fairly certain. Look at that. You're so cute. Yeah, Californians are, yeah, they are production animals. That's why I love creams, you guys. They're my favorite. I will fully admit it. I love them. Oh, I know. It's scary. I'm sorry. I'm really interested. In case none of you knew this, I have been working with purple ink tonight. I've not done that yet. Um, so... It will be interesting to see a purple tattoo on a creme d'argent. I think that's fun. 
Hello from Iowa. Jameson was born in Iowa. You were born in Iowa, right? Are you serious? Yeah, you were. Des Moines. <laughs> I was drawing a blank for a minute. He said, are you serious? <laughs> you guys, I'm so... I'm so excited because after we're done with this and after I get all of the chores done and everything, we're going upstairs. We haven't had internet sent. Well, I mean, we, we just got internet today around 3 p.m., which we haven't had internet since Saturday morning. It like went out sometime between Friday night and Saturday morning. And we had the Frontier guy out this morning. I couldn't go to work. Jameson couldn't go to work. We both work from home. So it was like, okay, <laughs> like we couldn't work. But um. The Frontier guy was out and he basically told us that squirrels had chewed the crap out of the cords up in the air. And so they put us in a temp like thing. So I guess it's going to go out again on either Wednesday or Thursday, but only temporarily. But anyway, that's what we've been dealing with. So if you wondered why I didn't do these live streams over the weekend, like I thought I was going to do, that's why. <laughs> oh, but anyway, what I was saying is I'm really excited because... We're going upstairs to play Rocket League. If you guys, if any of you game, Rocket League is the, one of the funnest like two-player games to play. And we are going to be children and we are going to drink. We're going to dunk Oreos in milk and probably eat almost a whole package of Oreos because Oreos are so good. Oh, look, it says the hardest of all the colors of the New Zealand reds. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I, I was just under the assumption that they were super easy to do. Good to know. There is not a mini size of the cream. That would be very, very cute, though. I should create that. I might have a project in the future. <laughs> Justin, I was born. You were born in Iowa, too. Well... I struggle between the silvering and stand-up fur of the silver fox and the creme de argents. Yep, the creams have silvering but have flyback fur. The silver foxes have silvering, have standing fur. Some of my creams want to be silver foxes. Some of their fur stands up a little bit too much, but they do have very thick fur. I actually really like it. If you try to process a rabbit hide too early, say 10 weeks, what happens? Does the fur just fall out or is it just not fully silvered? Um, if you try to do it too early, which I think we've done, we've probably done 10 week olds before, but um, they are very prone to tearing. Like the, the flesh is just, the hide itself is very, very thin because it's not, it's not an adult yet. So it's not thickened out yet. So it's very prone to tearing. So it's really hard to kind of work with. So just keep that in mind. Um, purple, I didn't know that color was okay to use, but luckily I haven't had to tattoo anyone yet. Yes, it is okay to use. It's purple all over my hands tonight. You guys will always see my hands just covered in ink after I'm doing this. Um, yes, it's fine though. Judges don't like light colors. They just want it to be readable. That's the most important thing to do. So I just figured, you know what? Let's have fun. Let's do some purple. I might order teal eventually if I can find teal. I think All Things Bunnies has a teal-ish color, so I might end up trying it. We'll see. But I don't want to try it until I see how it actually fades out because as I'm tattooing them, it's like a really dark purple, which is good. I mean, it's really, really readable. I just want to see if it, when it fades, it's more of a purpley, like a lighter purpley color. Um... I just bred my doe a week ago. She's building a nest already. Is this normal? In my rabbitry, if a doe starts building a nest a week after I bred her, I would sometimes say that's a false pregnancy. I actually did say that with Cassia, and it did end up being a false pregnancy. So if you don't know your doe, I would say just go ahead and drag her out to the full gestation and see if she's just an early nester. But I would 
probably say 80%, 75% chance she's probably having a false pregnancy if it's just been a week, I would say. But like I said, just if you don't know your dough, I would probably wait till the full gestation. Otherwise, you can have a double pregnancy, which is a thing that happens <laughs> with rabbits. What is the proper time to remove the nest box after the babies are born? Um, it depends on the babies. So I had a litter of crumb diargents that were born just recently. They kept escaping at two weeks old, like right after their eyes opened, literally right after their eyes opened. So I just took the whole nest box out. So, um, yeah, and they're doing great. They're already eating pellets and everything. They're like three weeks old now. Um, but I would just, I, I would wait to take the nest box out until your babies start jumping out on their own because at that point they can't really get back in very easily unless you flip it. Um, so yeah, just wait until they start hopping out on their own. Um, either of you into MMOs? Jameson, what's an MMO? Are you into that? What's it called? Jameson's into Lost Ark. Rocket League is the best. It is the best. It's so much fun. If you guys don't know what Rocket League is, it's basically like monster trucks, but you're playing soccer. It's really fun. And actually, the updated one that we got, you can play soccer, you can play hockey, basketball, and then there's one where it's just like crazy things keep happening. It's, it's just a lot of fun. So we're just going to eat a bunch of Oreos. Squirrels are crazy chewers. They will chew lead pipe jacks on your house. They will. Holy cow. I didn't know they could chew lead pipes. <laughs> Teal ink would be very pretty. I wish I could. I, I want to find it. I don't. All Things Bunnies has one that looks like teal, but I don't know what it looks like in real life. Tracy said, I am in love with Florida Whites, but if I had more room in my rabbitry, I would love to try some other class four rabbits. Mm -hmm. If I had, if I could sh have any rabbit, oh man, what four class rabbit would I get into? Sometimes I say I would get back into Dutch, but I don't know for sure. I really do like Dutch. I like the impossibility of their markings. It's like an endless journey to get those perfect markings <laughs> and also the perfect markings with the perfect body type. It's so difficult. Okay. This little guy has been waiting for a really long time. So I'm going to do him now. Hopefully he acts better than the silver boxes. Oh, Here we go. Hang on, <laughs> the jerking this rabbit is doing is just uh, restrain it a little bit more. <laughs> That's all.
goodness. The jerking. Oh my gosh. It's exhausting trying to hold these guys still sometimes. Overall, I didn't do a bad job though for as much as it was going crazy. Oh, good Lord. Okay. I need to catch up on this. Sorry, guys. It's like, I feel like when I do these guys, sometimes I'm doing them and I'm literally holding my breath <laughs> trying to like, I don't know why I do that. I'll catch up on the chat here in a minute. This is the second to last one, by the way. So far, the tipping, the box on its side once the kids are eight days old and have to remove the bedding around that time too because I was my big mess box eye. Makes sense. If you are in a, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. No, that is bad. I thought I was using my chapstick to do that and I don't want to do that. Yeah, if you are in a building, especially when it doesn't get cold um, or you don't get drafts or rain or anything, tipping the nest box early, as long as they have their eyes open and everything, works out really well. And baby saver wire. I think that's really important when they're that little. Um, Hubs and I play Final Fantasy fourteen, and we play... The Vieira, a.k.a. Buns. I don't know what that is. But that's really funny. Games are fun. My doe, first time, and my first litter. Yeah, I, I would just, Justin, I would just, uh, I would go full 31 days. I would say don't be surprised if it's a false pregnancy. So if she doesn't have kits by day 35, I would say rebreeder, especially if you give her the nest box on day 27, 28, <clears throat> and she starts going to the bathroom in it, it's a false pregnancy. I would, I would almost say like with hundred percent certainty, but just know like it, it probably is. So, um, but just give it time since you don't really know the dough. Um, Tracy, I am an insurance adjuster. I pay for stuff like that. I'm assuming you mean the squirrels chewing lead pipes and stuff. That's crazy. Addie, I've had a hard time raising Rexes in the past. I don't know a lot about Rexes. I've never had them before. I'm not, I don't know. I feel like they're, they're overrated. <laughs> I mean, I think they're cool, but compared to my rare breeds, <laughs> they're overrated. Katie Fields says, hi, I'm Katie, and I am 13. I just got a rabbit, and you have inspired me so much, and I love you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Katie. That's awesome. Ashlyn says, dynamic color has a pretty dark teal ink, but I don't know if it's the right kind. I don't know if it really matters. I would like to try human-grade ink. I think that would be cool. Um, NJ Lightning Bolt says, my rabbit Oreo died yesterday. I'm so sorry. Now I feel bad about mention mentioning Oreos. <laughs> That's, I'm really sorry about that. That's terrible. 
Um, yeah, mini rex fur is great. Uh, I really like the tries. I think mini rex fur is really pretty. Um, Addy says, how old do you think I should separate the baby from mom because I have four and a half week old and one of my family friends says it should be weaned and then you're ready to go to a new home right now. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, we just had a whole long discussion earlier about keeping rabbits until they are at least 12 weeks old. <laughs> so, um, I wean my rabbits anytime between six and eight weeks old usually more towards eight weeks old, um, as long as the mom tolerates them just fine. And she usually does, um, as long as you have them in a bigger grow out pen. So, uh, yeah, I, I would definitely not sell them at four and a half weeks old. You can wean them that early, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Um, you'll get, I feel like you'll get better grow rates and, and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know the side. I don't think there's science I don't know if there is science behind that or not. So, but I, I would probably, I would definitely not do that. <laughs> um, so, uh, you also say, I thought it was supposed to be eight weeks old before being separated from his mom. Bingo. You already know. See, you're smart. You already know the answer. Elizabeth says, our race of people are humanoid rabbits. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Ashlyn says, yes, thank you for a recommendation of KW cages. They're 30 by 36 by 18 with baby saver wire. So amazing. I love KW cages and I don't know for certain, but I feel like uh, when I ordered them in 2020, since then, I feel like their customer service has improved like a lot. Um, at least uh, the last time I ordered them, it did. And Jace Lightning Bolt says, Oreo was a five-year-old Netherlands, so he had a decent lifespan. Oh, yeah, that's a good age for a Netherland dwarf. Oh. Well, I'm happy that you gave Oreo a nice life. That is nice. Carol Brown Silva says, I don't think they do as well emotionally when you wean them, when you wean them too young, I think. Yeah, I... It's like, the way that I think about it is, like, you're... Like, think about with puppies and, like, cats and stuff. You're supposed to leave them with their mom until eight weeks old because the mom kind of teaches them, uh, you know, socialization and stuff like that. I don't know if rabbits are the same way. I feel like rabbits are kind of different in that regard. But I still feel like there's value in leaving the babies with them for that long, especially if the mom is a loving, you know, doe. I would keep them as long as you can. Eight weeks old, even 10 weeks old. I've left them in there for even longer than 12 weeks old before. Um, as long as the mom's not getting super frustrated, I would try to leave them in there as long as you can. <laughs> Elizabeth says, sorry, the Viera in F F oh, Final Fantasy 14 is humanoid rabbits. Oh, I think I remember seeing that actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm not like, I'm not up to snuff on like the most recent best games. That's what, that's Jameson's ordeal. He likes that kind of thing. I'm more like Stardew Valley, Spyro, all of that. That's, that's my kind of gaming. But yeah, uh, that's really funny. I, I'm pretty sure I saw that when he was playing that. It's hilarious. Okay, got to get the last one. I didn't realize this live stream was going this long. Hey, ooh, bam. Hey, last cream. This one actually has a finished out coat. Look at that. You're okay. Yeah, that one has a nice finished out coat already cream over there. Just thumped at me. Hold on, guys. Oof. You're fine, bun bun. Somebody bit your ear. Dude.
This is what I get for leaving bunnies together for a long time. They start to fight. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Come here. Oh, let me look at that. Jeez, they're picking on you. It's nothing that I think, I don't think it's going to like scar really bad or anything, but it's enough to be like, dude, I think I need to separate you. Elizabeth says our dog gave, our dog gave birth this morning to two kits. I looked again hours later as she was lying, laying on her side. Her tummy was going crazy. She still got kits in there. I caught it on camera. Uh, are you sure it was kits or was it gut movement? Because if it's a rolling motion, that's gut movement. If it's a swift kick really quickly, that's kits. Uh, that's, some, that's one thing that I had to learn. <laughs> Uh, have I ever heard of the bunny hop dance from the 60s? Um, I'm not super familiar. I feel it. Is it just a bunny hop? Like a, just like a legit like bunny hop? I don't know. Swift kits. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I've had a rabbit. Like one time I had a doe give birth to one kit. And then the next day she gave birth to like nine more. And the, the one that she gave birth to the very, the first day um, didn't make it, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, sometimes they, sometimes they can do that. Oh my gosh. I got like hair starting to find its way into my eyeballs. <laughs> kitty just had a cat that had two kittens and you're so excited that's awesome i have a crazy kitten that drives us nuts but we love her <laughs> okay guys i'm running out of steam i've got like three more litters to do too <laughs> Not three more, two more. Sorry, the, I've got three total litters right now. I've got one more that needs tattooed this week and another one. Oh, shoot. I've got to enter mini convention tonight, too. That's another thing i got to do. Ah, I'm running behind on everything. Mirren is doing great. She is insane. I love her. She rules the roost. Again, with alcohol. Okay, I'm going to do this one really quick. I am going to have to get off of here really quickly after I do this guy because I forgot that I have not entered Minicon yet, which is important. So, yeah. Let's do this one. It's my last one. How fast can I normally tattoo? Usually a lot quicker when I'm not talking. Should just do a speed run live stream one of these days. That'd be funny. Like I wouldn't talk to you guys. I would literally just tattoo as fast as I can. I think I can usually do a rabbit every seven-ish minutes. This litter. Even the creams, they're just being like crazy though. Sometimes they just lay for me. So they're all being nuts.
Good lord, dude. Holy crap. Good to see you, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. It's been fun. I know we are, we're nearing, we're at two and a half hours now. It's crazy. I was not expecting to be on here this long. It's fine though. It was too cold to really do anything outside, so. Did I do a tattoo speed run? <laughs> Is that an idea that I just thought of? That would be fun. I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. I think the the talking to you guys part is what makes it so long, which I'm fine with. I think it's fun to talk and everything. But that would be really funny if we tried to to do. I didn't <laughs> I didn't need it. I ate like two rib sandwiches. This, like, uh, let's see, around two-ish, I think. And that's all I ate today. And it was a lot of food. It was, like, just all in one sitting. Just eat, like, all the rib sandwich. Oh, yeah, Jameson could do a chat for the reading. I feel like if he was, like, talking to me about what you guys were talking about, though, I'd, I'd want to keep, like, saying stuff. So, all right, dude. We might do it. We might do it. If you guys see, um, if you guys see like a, a live stream announcement later on for tattoo speed run, uh, the idea came from this chat. <laughs> I think it sounds fun. Okay guys. Well, I am going to get off here. I'm not going to drag out the, the exit cause I really do got to get off here. I've got to register for Ohio mini um, I've still got to do chores and I really, really want to eat Oreos and milk upstairs and Jameson as we drive monster trucks around and play soccer. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> have a great night and I will see you guys probably in another tattoo live stream very, very soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll see. See you guys.